A common expression for sure in our temporal world, right? Nothing lasts forever. Life is a fleeting thing. I don't know if that's the direction this track is going to go. I'm just maybe bringing up a popular adage, right? The way you're all familiarized to in general principle, mixed with maybe some possibilities of an idea. <laughs> Uh, at least I could see that on Femin being familiarized now to at least uh, six of Visions of Atlantis's work. This is very much an early introduction for me, as many of you know. I've started my initiation on fulfilling a promise that I'm sure a number of you... I, I mean, I don't remember... Did I declare this in the comment section? Maybe, no, I said it elsewhere. That I told you Visions of Atlantis was coming. Many of you made them a frequent requested name in the comment section, as many of you know in, in terms of what I've said in past coverage. I happen to frequent the comment section area to get wind of those recommendations, as I love the first impression model that comes along with music, right? And being introduced to so many noteworthy talents. And just being, you know, a, a general music person, right, in, in first preference. It is the first love of my life, and it's been a long-standing admiration or aspiration to enjoy music generally with others, right? To provide a platform of showcasing for good art. And that's what I've been doing over the past couple of years on this channel, broadening out a, a highlight focus of music that is in company with other artistic languages. But for me, it is the favored, right? And you can probably see why if you've humored this journey with me through many artists of spotlighted, Visions of Atlantis being the newest name edition. To satisfy the cravings I know a number of you expressed, right? But maybe some of you have not yet been introduced to Visions of Atlantis. And this is going to be perhaps your first step. I would encourage digging back in their catalog of what we've previously recognized, for sure, especially on this album of Wanderers, because we are now on the third track, and this is, there's a bit of a drive in terms of maybe a narrative that this uh, has at least envisioned from what at least I've experienced on both this album and The Deep and the Dark, but it, I think as well give you a better feel of the vision for what, what the span's reach, right? And understanding perhaps new directions and just having a better enjoyment of the experience, being more informed at least of a baseline. And of course, I know many of you are approaching on a familiar name basis that advances, you know, my own introduction, right? And so you're getting the perspective of somebody who is very much a newbie listener, maybe where you were at one point, where I was in the beginning with them just being a name reference. It, it is my hope, again, that we are approaching at different angles, but we can enjoy music together and, and good art, generally. And Visions of Atlantis, if now favored, and the first ever I've humor, first ever group from Austria. <laughs> You know, I revere the European metal scene for sure, but Austrian music is quite beautiful, it seems. And when you have an influence of uh, both melodic and power metal, which are fun favorites of mine, but as well, the dominant preferred symphonic metal, instant click. And I have to say, I mean, Visions of Atlantis has really impressed me on that scope alone. I mean, the introduction, in fact, of this album with uh, Release My Symphony, aptly named... <laughs> <laughs> expressed quite a, a varied, a sundry uh, hodgepodge of traits from other artists that I'm familiar to, but in such a unique construction that felt quite harmonious and was a beautiful number to humor together. Uh, quite organic in its evolution, but just beautiful to entertain, right? That's what you hope for with music. You hope for such exquisite craftsmanship, and Europe has readily offered that, but any music has graced this channel, and any artist has offered that. And it's quite an honor to be able to feature another name that has such good standing, like Visions of Atlantis, that deserves their fan base, and maybe more fans as well, prospective listeners, of which I like to regard many of you who are happening upon a first-name impression, right? I think you'll come to really like this group, and... It won't take that much to convince you to dig down deeper at Visions of Atlantis as I am doing, right? Maybe we can enjoy that experience together, and we're going to. Currently, with Nothing Lasts Forever, the third track on the album, our third thus far in experience of this sophomore release that we're humoring here. The songs are just so enamoring, and the scores are mesmerizing, enchanting, just incredible to listen to. Great works of art. I am sure that Nothing Lasts Forever will be no different. This album has really taken on a bit of a softer luster. Much more of a ballad direction. Quite sentimental. Maybe this song will command it, though. Yeah, it does. <laughs> but to highlight the prowess of vocal delivery on Clementine's regard. And she can hit so many personalities in her song, right? A more aggressive symphonic root or this type of ballad structure. More engrossing and immersive, right? And, under, and, and just letting it touch you, more emotional.
I love European artists. <laughs> it's the presentations are always so exquisite. And it's a deeply humane message presented, quite a resonant theme. The holes on Michelle's vocals, I absolutely love. Again, you hear that subtle accent intrusion, it just makes her such a unique delivery, quite impassioned. It's a touching number for sure. Good snare choices again. There's that classic metal feel. Interweaved beautifully into a symphonic number. But in a way that doesn't overshadow again the balance of what this is trying to strike at. And I admire it for that. Good temptation to finish. I had to wonder a moment, like, are we already done? <laughs> the nicer place break keeps your attention fixated. Oh, that's beautiful in terms of the root. <sighs> the theming, quite a resonant theme, as I said, deeply connective, established well, beautifully human, and timeless. And with broad applicability, right? You know, nothing lasts forever. As this, the chorus says, I, I can't put it better. It's so direct, too. I like that approach. T cherish the moment without a regret. Nothing lasts forever. It's never too late. And the video, of course, imagines that and again in the story of, I believe, a family right ah, how that's imagined oh that's gorgeous man i love how that's pictured again it's deeply connective and the song commands a softer approach we've had three softer songs right now but from our past experiences with this band we have seen a bit of a mixture in employ right so I, i've been curious the entire way to see you know which are it's i don't know if maybe wanderers as an album is taking on a bit of a softer feel that is a creative choice in general, of course, we'll see that it's going to be an evolving journey of sorts. But this piece, again, commands a softer balance. You read the lyrics and immediately, the emotional amplification, that's what you want. And a softer song can do that. So to take on a ballad approach, but to not lose, again, the finesse of any of the vocal performances in the band's execution and delivery, it's just so good. What you, what's demonstrated here, with Clementine, or Clementine's vocals, you have a performance that, again, is much you know, better suited towards the ballad direction, but does not lose any of its uh, charm in range or exquisity that might, ex exquisite, I can't even, am I making up a word? <laughs> any of its prowess, right? <laughs> Let me dodge that one. <laughs> it doesn't lose any shade again of its flair within the symphonic territories. Maybe songs take on a more aggressive approach and it is more of a vocal reach. This is a less ambitious piece on uh, um, uh, creative demand. Because again, I think it's resorting more into a territory of sentimentality and wanting to be a piece of a certain level of catharsis, of a reminder of just cherishing in life, right? The different seasons we're in, not forgetting things, right? Maintaining a vision on the temporal world. That's sort of a direction of this piece. And I think that's communicated beautifully. Again, it might not 
th this piece might go in terms of different types of creative venturing of where Visions of Atlantis's journey might take them. It, it keeps those elements for sure. And again, the beautiful vocal harmony on behalf of both Clement uh, Clementine and uh, Michelle. It's just, it's gorgeous, right? And, and hearing Michelle's vocals as well, I love them. It, it's so dainty, but yet it has, again, like I said, that force right? It's driven. It, it, it's impassioned. And to hear the subtlety of the accent interweave and just have a such a natural balance that feeds beautifully into Clementine's vocals. So the two just overlap perfectly. It's so cool to have that balance and to have it in such a dominant position. Like originally when I went in, I thought it was just more so Clementine as a vocalist and not necessarily a uh, dual overlap. But it was an impressive surprise, and it's delivered, in my opinion, for sure. And it's a pleasure of a video to watch. On imagery, Europe always impresses me. <laughs> it's such a beautiful country. But, it, 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 again, like I said, it's just such a deeply human experience, and the video communicates that so efficiently. I'd love to hear your thoughts down below on it. It's a creative piece to analyze, because, again, we might look at some of the visions of Atlantis's past work and, and see the... Um, uh, the the lessened experimentation in comparison to maybe other songs, right? There isn't as much variability or play. There's more, I, I'm trying to not, anyway, it's not like I'm dissing at all. There's a chosen, I think, residing in a mainstay presence of, again, emotional authenticity. And, and again, that ballad structure to amplify the pathos connection to the piece for the listener, right? To make, to bring that theme home. And I think it was sufficient in that le uh, that level. It's a good piece, of course, to fit into an album that has taken on a bit of a softer approach, at least on origin, right? It, it maybe, again, like I said, a good mix on the introductory work, but the last piece as well took on more of a, a softer flair, right? Though it kind of sit in the middle territory in, in, in a rock space but i like the application of this one i do i think it fits nicely and i think its sentimentality is warranted especially on execution and sound quality i'd love to hear your thoughts down below on nothing lasts forever and your point of approach right long time uh, visions of atlantis fan or first introduction to them i'd love to hear about it down below if you do in fact wish to contribute to the conversation on that I'm enjoying the journey so far as I have every piece with Visions of Atlantis. Again, I love the European metal ride for this reason. I'll call it that. It's been so many artists I've humored and not one is disappointed. Vision of Atlantis is the newest edition and I'm having a great time with them. I'm curious again to see the evolution of Wanderers and if we do, in fact, segue at any point into a harsher route. Uh, maybe, it, well, I mean, I don't know. The titlings of these tracks are quite sentimental. Like, the next piece is a journey to remember. I could even see maybe a softer approach there. So, and then the fallen piece, A Life of Our Own. You know, I'm like... I don't know, maybe again, that's an intention. Maybe this album is meant to be a bit of a softer feel, you know, on creative uh, vision. We'll see. Whatever the case, so I'm enjoying again the, the the particular nuances that I'm seeing in regards to Visions of Atlantis's specific abilities, especially within the symphonic metal regard, they are a delight to humor. And on execution, there's this is quite fulfilling work. Nothing Lasts Forever, another great addition to feature, not only here, but into uh, Visions of Atlantis' library. It's a great piece to humor, and I love the connection that immediately it makes with a listener like myself. A particularly resonant theme that is delivered, in my opinion, flawlessly. Thank you so much for watching this video. Before you bounce, feel free to drop a like and comment, subscribe to this channel with a ding on the bell, and share this video with your friends. And consider checking out the description here. There you'll find links to my other channels, as well as addresses to my other social media accounts and ways you can help support my work if you feel so inclined. May God bless you, and looking forward to when our paths cross again.